Okay, today we have the Autofix BAS 300 Plus. When I first got this, I thought it was just a, a battery tester. This thing does everything. If you work on your own cars and do most of the work yourself, this is a must have item. This tells you a lot of things about your battery, your anything that's going on in your car this is something you really need to have okay I've already got this unboxed I generally do this while I'm making the video but I had mic problems so I had to wind up doing shooting this part over again so and you know how this kind of stuff is you know how it is when you try to repack it it's just it takes a special skill to <laughs> to put all this back in anyway you got your your scanner here and your battery tester this plugs in with your leads right here plugs in like that well, look at them clips right there them are very nice good and strong springs good clamps them will last for years okay you plug it in like that and then you test the battery so I do need to test a couple more batteries and put it on the end of this video here but this is this is a very nice unit here okay you got your instructions here to come with it and you got this uh, USB cable here this is to connect to your computer if you want to update the firmware on this the software and it also has a capability of printing if you want to print out some of your forms I haven't actually done that yet but it's possible to do that also but like I say this is a must-have item if you do most of your repair work yourself Multi-function battery analyzer. Does several types of batteries. Charging tests, uh, cranking tests. This thing has a multi-language you can it supports. So it'll go into several different kind of languages. This is the professional full OBD2 functions code reader. I mean this thing does everything. Freeze frame, EVAP monitor, O2 sensor test, onboard monitor test, check engine, vehicle information, IM, readiness, live data, read codes and clear codes. So I was amazed at all the stuff that this thing will do. I actually shot most of the video yesterday, but I had to redo the first part of this because I was using a handheld mic laying up here and it was just too too noisy. So I had to get my, my lapel mic working better. So I did that. Okay, you can get this unit on Amazon for about $59.99, $60. I tell you, this is a must-have item. I can't say that enough. So we'll run some tests on this and uh, hook it up to the car and see what it's going to do. Like this thing is very well built. Good and solid. All the wires and everything is very nice. I couldn't get over how these are nice clamps right here. I mean that's a better clamp than you can get on most battery chargers. That's nice. I haven't taken this out of the package yet. That way I could be surprised right along with you. It's a nice looking unit. Cool. Hmm. There's your scan tool right here. 
and to run your battery tester you just connect it into this that's a pretty neat idea well I think we're gonna flip this camera around and go uh, hook it up to the car over here on the battery okay got this thing over here on the car got it switched over here on battery we'll click OK 12.117 volt press OK to continue review data battery test report the health is 302 amp 36 percent charge 12.17 volt 61 percent internal rate 9.7 rated 600 cranking amp now this car has been sitting for almost a month now I just put a starter on it got this finished up yesterday so it really hasn't had a chance to uh, get out on the road and get this thing charged back up so we'll start it up real quick trip today to another town so give it a chance to charge the battery up good. We'll have to turn the car off to plug this thing in then we'll start right back up. Okay we're on OBD2. Click OK. Entering system. Okay, now we'll start the car up. Okay, gonna read codes. P0050 heat control circuit, bank 2, sensor 1. That's the uh, oxygen sensor. P0050 heater control circuit bank 2 sensor 1 go to the data stream all items select items Go to all items. Fuel system status. Fuel system status two. 
boat value. Your fuel trims. Engine coolant temperature. Engine RPM. Vehicle speed. Intake temperature. Airflow rate. Mass airflow sensor, absolute throttle position, oxygen sensor output, voltage, short term fuel trim, oxygen sensor output, voltage. This thing does everything. That's on the live data stream. You can do a freeze frame. O2 sensor test. Sensor one. Rich to lean. Pass. Sensor two. That one passed. Sensor one. Bank two. That one passed. goes to the test value, your minimum limit, your maximum limit, all that stuff in there. Okay, here's a nice little screen here to show you exactly what's going on in your car. All your greens are pass. So I got a problem with my cats. I already knew that. The EVAP system. O2 sensor, EVAP system, that's really cool, you can take something like this when you're going to go buy a car, go do the test drive, plug this thing in there and just see how, see how healthy the car is. Make sure you got all green, all green on your screen here, and this will be a good car to buy. It's got a bunch of yellow check marks on it, X marks. Well, it's going to need some work done on it. That is really cool. Here's where you can look up your codes. P000. So you can look up your codes right here. Okay, please turn ignition on with the engine off. So that means it needs to be in accessory mode. Accessory active. And push OK to continue.
I am readiness. Tells you what you need to work on. That's really neat. Okay, this is the auto fix. BAS 300 plus. Get it on Amazon. I'll see if I can leave a link down below. Okay, this little battery goes on the tractor. This one right here. And we got it hooked up here. I'll click OK. Battery test. Okay, 26% health, charge is 0%, internal, it's a good battery, but it needs a recharge, so now we'll go to the truck. Okay, this is on the truck, well, I'm not getting a good connection on that. There we go. Now it's testing. Health is 93%, charge is 9%. Rated 500 cranking amps. Good recharge. That's another good battery. Okay, this is the scanner on the on the truck. See all them green check marks? Looks like got a problem with the cat. That's looking a lot better than the Cadillac, huh? Now I got one more car to test. Okay, this is on the other car. Twelve point twelve point one three volts. Not another good battery. Just needs to recharge. Okay, this is the other Cadillac. This is the one I thought was going to be in the best shape. Look like it's the worst. And this one also don't have any. This one don't have any engine codes on it either. They got a problem with cats, EGR, heater, EVAP. The ones that's gray and kind of got a circle with a mark through it, that's the ones that's not supported. But this surprises me. I figured to have all green check marks along here. This is a car I don't drive anyway, but. This is parked. This is the car that we rebuilt on the channel. The one that got crashed. It's a good running car, but it's it's not tagged or anything. I don't drive it. Yeah, I tried looking up the codes on it. No fault codes. Yeah, I really like the, the battery tester in this thing, too. Okay, this is in my wife's van. It's got all green check marks. That's a good car. That's what you want to see when if you go test drive a car, if you're going to buy one. This would be a good car to buy. Okay, thanks for watching.